Okay, today's daily rehab is tidying up what you're doing with your abdominals when you're moving from low level core work to a higher level core work. And we're gonna use the tabletop as an example. So that movement is this, just so you're aware. So a tabletop is that position. So if you're moving from, say, low level work, say you're just doing knee floats or extensions like this, to work on deep core control and spinal control, namely working on trying to improve how strong your transversus is and try not to rely on outer core like all your obliques and your rectus dominus. So when you move from a low level work, say just one leg, to tabletop, which you'll need when you do say dead bugs and things like that, you'll need sit ups and crunches, you'll need to be able to hold tabletop. We wanna make sure that you're doing the right things here. So let's dial it back to what you need to do when you're doing low level, single leg, and then transitioning to that tabletop. What you're supposed to do is make sure that you can turn on your actual transverse abdominus. And now remember that muscle acts like a corset. So if this is the muscle, it's gonna contract that way because that's the way the fibers run, okay? Think of obliques going on a diagonal and your rectus going straight down. This muscle is beneath all that and it contracts that way. So it is like wrapping a corset around from the sort of the sides to the front to hold and give you stability for your spine. Now, if you can't access that, and you should be able to do that if you're doing high level core work, if you can't, meaning what happens when you lift one leg and the other and your tummy domes up like that, that means what your brain is doing is accessing every single muscle in your abdominals plus sort of pushing down and holding your breath. And what happens is your tummy contents tend to go up like that. You tend to dome your tummy and probably a little bit of arch as well. That's the other thing you've got to look at. Is your lower back sort of arching off and are you doming up like that? So if you end up in that position when you raise your legs, you're probably doing the wrong thing. And it's going to sort of not give you spinal stability. It's going to make your hip flexors work harder. And that's you're going to run out of steam at that point. So what we're going to try and do is think, okay, I want to be able to maintain neutral spine, not let my back arch off the ground with a simple exercise, okay? And then if I can access that and turn that on there, fantastic. If you can't, you're going to have to use maybe a little bit of pelvic floor with that, all right? So pelvic floor meaning holding a wee to engage deeper down to give you some sort of activation here. So when that's on, you've got to try and keep it flat and raise your leg, not let it come up and raise your leg, all right? So if you can start off getting that flat, okay, maybe you have to use a bit of pelvic floor, holding a wee, that's going to engage it for the start. But if you can keep these ribs down and not flare up, and you can stop your tummy doing that, if you can keep that flat, the idea is to have this as your corset and your breathing here. So try and focus on breathing up in your ribs to do this, not breath holding, and so holding your breath like that to do the movement, you've got to be able to breathe through the movement because that's what you do when you play sport. You breathe all the time. You don't hold your breath and run around. So this movement here has to be sort of almost separated from that, if you like. Think of this part is your strengthening. This part is your breathing for this exercise. We're not sitting and breathing with our tummy like we were doing when we sleep. We're training, okay? So what I want you to focus on, when you go... You got all that sorted, right? So if you raise one leg and get that one set, if you've got enough control to do that, before you just launch into raising this leg, what I want you to do is think about the deep layers of your abdominals, mostly transverse, holding you down. You've got a bit of obliques working as well. I just want you, don't want you working on this doming thing where you're using everything and holding your breath. So the deeper layers and a bit of obliques are gonna hold on to try and raise this leg. Think of lightening this leg not lifting it. So if I have 100% lift on this one, and this one's zero, I want you to see if you can lighten this up and you feel and watch what happens to your abdominals. So can you sort of lighten this leg and go, okay, it's nearly off. Maybe you lift the heel first. So there's a little bit of activation where the body's prepping, almost in your frontal cortex going, oh my goodness, he's gonna raise his leg. I better do something. This is the training part. Can you stop your body doing too much? Okay, can you keep it there and train your brain to get more efficient 
at using these muscles and not accessing too much more, and then you put your leg back down and let it fully rest again. So this one stays up, you try again, activate here, keep this on, you can access a little bit more obliques to raise your leg and work out slowly how you're gonna keep that flat, keep yourself from doming, and then eventually what will happen, you train that enough, you go from sort of 20% to 40% to 60%, and all of a sudden, when you get to about 80%, and then you can just lift it off. And you realize that you've got everything switching on, then you've got to lower it without any of the back moving, any of this doming. You're still breathing up here. This is why I can talk to you, because I'm breathing up here. I'm not trying to work on diaphragmatic stuff down here. I'm, I'm sort of keeping this dedicated to abdominal work, okay? I'm not letting it go and do that when I raise my leg. So it's very crucial that you practice lightening the leg and not just launching straight into it going oh look at me i got here okay it's the transition from there to there being efficient with using the almost the least amount of muscle work here to do the job so as the load comes on i increase a little bit to do the job because there's harder and harder exercises from that there's things like dead bugs we're gonna have to access more you don't want to be using everything just for a low level exercise. That's designed for heavy, heavy stuff, okay? So don't go and exhaust it or use up all your energy to try and do a low level exercise because down the track you're gonna run out of steam, okay? So that's really important to work on, trying to get that transition, one leg, keep it down, and then slowly, slowly floating that up, higher and higher. You may find you never get off the ground for a while. Okay, let it go down, drop that leg, Try again, you can swap sides, bring this one up. You may find that one side is a little bit better than the other. So you've got better control lifting one side up. And that does happen, especially people who've had back pain. They may find that they've got better strengthening on one side, depending on where the pain is be. Also, if you're left and right hand, there is some transition there as well. So just to recap, try and make sure you focus on transverse abdominis and a little bit of obliques the most, okay? If you have trouble accessing those transverses, work on a bit of pelvic floor engagement. So holding your wee to get a little more engagement down here to stop you doing this whole push up. And the biggest thing is the breathing. Just don't hold your breath. Keep your breathing up here. Keep breathing through it and slowly, slowly feeling that body adjust to try and take care of it and then just floating up and away you go, holding it there. Then you know if you can get to that tabletop position, you can move on to harder and harder core exercises and you'll do so much better down the track. So there's my tip. Give that a shot. See you next time.